Corey, when you were here 16, hey, 17 years gone. ago, could you ever imagine all that you would go on to accomplish, the Stanley Cups, the All-Star appearances, all the wins? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. Uh, I, I just want to, to play in the NHL, uh, win the Cup. That, that was that was my goal and my focus. Uh, it, it's hard to say. These things are like that, that's just a, a bonus, you know. Like it it uh, it feels good to to get that recognition and for how hard you worked and how much you put into the game. Uh, but it's it's so surreal. I don't even think it's hit me yet, you know. Like, um, but it's. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, we had a good time here. Uh, all, all the guys uh, we played with kind of came up together, and um, it was uh, it was a good time in, in my career. Uh, you know, obviously going through it, it's tough. You're you're battling. You're trying to get to the next level, and um, but now that everything's done and looking back, it was uh, it was a good time. We had a lot of fun, and um, you know it. Uh, Everything kind of happens for a reason, so it was uh, it was some good years to spend here to to prepare me for what was next. How how does it make you feel like, given the impact that you had as a um, not only a ice hog but a black hawk as well, just to hear that thundering of the crowd when you walk back into the BMO? Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, being a hockey player, you you love that stuff. That that pumps you up, and uh, whether it was here in Rockford or in Chicago. Um, the fans were always great. They were always great, and um, you know that's the best part of hockey. Without the fans, the game isn't that much. Uh, you know, it's always fun to play in front of a packed crowd and uh, loud fans cheering you on, chanting, and um, you know that's that's just that's the special part of hockey. You know, that's uh, that's the fun part. So it was good to hear it again, definitely. So when you reflect on your career, you think about the uh, NHL moments. What about your time in the AHL? When you look back at the three years you had or three seasons, what is it you think back on? Oh, it's all a blur right now. Uh, it's been so long ago, but um, it, it was a good time. It was hard, hard work, you know, uh, a lot of ups and downs, you know, playing minor hockey. Uh, like I say, you're trying to get to the next level. You're trying to do what you can to, to, to go to the NHL. But... At the same time, we uh, we definitely had fun doing it. Uh, it was a good group that we had here uh, in those three years, and um, you know it was uh, you know something you look back on and and really enjoy. You say that that was that was awesome. That was a good time, and it was fun to be a part of. What would be some uh, advice you would give some of the uh, the Ice Hogs goalies here? You know, doing what you used to oh. back in the day. Oh, I mean, you just got to stay stay uh, more in the moment and it's easy to trail off and start to think about you know where you could be how come you're not getting called up and there, there's a lot that, there's a lot that goes on playing in the minors uh, the uncertainty and um, you know other guys getting called up it's it's tough it, you just I know it's hard you just got to stay with you know, each day trying to get better, practice hard, um, do what you can uh, each day, um, you know, to get better. And, you know, eventually, I, I feel like, you know, most guys get their chance eventually. How much of an impact did your time here in Rockford have on, so that you could have that long and successful career in the NHL? Um, yeah, I, I, looking back, you kind of, you hope to make, make it right away. Everyone wants to jump out and, and make it right away. And, in the NHL their whole career and um, you know it taught me things uh, patience uh, perseverance um, you know uh, you know not giving up uh, there, there's a lot of a lot of qualities that I, that I learned and picked up while I was here um, and um, you know that that, that helped me uh, along the way so um, I'm definitely thankful uh, that I that I got a chance to play here with with the people that I did. I mentioned uh, Mark Bernard, uh, who was great, always been great to his players, even after they're done playing, um, and all the guys I played with too. Uh, so it was it, it was uh, definitely a good time, and it helped me going forward.
boys are obviously hooked on hockey already. Are you yeah. are you a youth coach now? Are you staying active in the sport of hockey? I'm not a coach yet. I'm being a little selfish and staying on the sidelines and just watching for now. Um, my six-year-old is is crazy about hockey. He's he's starting to watch a lot and highlights and uh, you know ball hockey in the basement and. Everything's evolved around hockey. He kind of got rid of the, the kitty toys, and you know, hockey's his, his thing now. So, um, and it's getting me back into the game too, which is uh, which is great. I'm I got that excitement, and um, you know, it's fun being a dad watching your kid start skating and start getting better each day, and um, you know, that's uh, that's a good part I get to enjoy now. What do you miss the most about not being a player? Anymore? Uh, oh man, I, there's so many good things about the game of hockey. It's a, I, I think it's great. Sports are great. Hockey, the people, the people in the game, uh, your teammates, uh, battling with them, having fun. Uh, that that side of it, uh, outside outside playing hockey, um, yeah, the the compete. I, I love those those big games uh, where something was on the line and. Obviously, playoffs uh, where the crowd is rocking, and um, that's that's what I grew up dreaming to do: is play in front of a big crowd for for the Stanley Cup. And um, you know, that's I, I miss those uh, those competitive, tense moments, and that that was that was so much fun for me. That was, that was the, one of the best parts, and um, you know, we we had a lot of fun doing it in those years too. That was. That was a good team and a lot of great guys, uh, you know, who, who always kept it fun. Um, Shaw, Seabrook, Bickle, uh, one of the best guys in hockey, and uh, you know, it was, it was such a good time. Hey Corey, first of all, growing up as a kid in Chicago, I just want to thank you just for all the memories. But my question yeah. for you is, uh, what's your favorite memory as an, as an ice hog in the Black Oh, ice hog. Oh man, I. It's all a blur. I, I need to see stuff. Even even Stanley, Stanley, the playoffs. I kind of mix up 13 and 15 sometimes uh, with stuff. But it's hard to say one one favorite. Uh, I think just the whole going through the whole journey. You know what I mean? Playing playing all the way and and battling those tough moments that you, you guys get through as as a team and as players. Uh, you know that that's the fun part is the whole the whole journey uh, playing. I think that's uh, that that was it for me. Here in the crowd and uh, stepping onto the ice, to make you want to throw the pads on one more time, make you miss it. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little far far away from that. Uh, who knows? I, I don't know what's what's in store uh, with hockey uh, right now. I'm just gonna focus on. Uh, my family, my boys, and you know, I'm, I'm busy enough with them. So um, yeah, I just want to be there for them and you know, help them with the game. So uh, for now, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it with that for now. As you come back to Rockford, obviously this is one of the first homes you've had, uh, and then going to Chicago. When you come back to Rockford, do you hit up any local spots? Do you do a little bit of reminiscing on your way here today? Uh, well, actually, I just drove right in, right to the right to the rink. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't cruise around town that much, but uh, you know, there there was a there was a few spots that we went and we had a good time. We we definitely had a good time uh, during hockey season. You don't really do that much anyway, to be honest. Uh, your your focus is you got practice and and a lot of games, and when you have your chance, you go and have fun. And um, and honestly, most guys. Uh, that played here enjoyed playing in Rockford. It was uh, it was a really fun time, and um, it helps when the building is is always full too. The hockey part, you got to have the hockey part there, you the fans and the the full building. But it, it was good. And then with the theme of coming home, uh, obviously you got the new kid coming up, a uh, new kid on your uh, your own roster at home. Yeah. Bring all bringing your boys with you. Uh, do they kind of understand the sort of impact that you're having to the community? And when will the youngest one start putting on the pads for himself? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. It's it's different. It's definitely different. Uh, you know, being being in the area and having my boys at uh, at the rink. Um, 
but but people are great. Uh, like I said, the people around hockey, the families, uh, um, they're all they're all great people, um, and it's uh, it's good right now to be around around that on a different side, just to let him go do his thing and you know watch him grow. Good. Thank you so much, Gordon. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you.